Tin Man taught his little monkey how to help out with the chores. Together they sanded the woodwork and painted all the windows and doors. They stained the wood in the bedroom and laid a new tile in the hall. Then the monkey tried all by himself to put paper on the wall. There was nobody home to help him, so he thought up his own little trick. He didn't know what he was doing or how to make the wallpaper stick. Instead of using paste, he stuck it up with monkey spit. Now the house smells like bananas, wherever paper's hung in it. Helpful monkey wallpaper's entire home.
outside announcer and most of the fans were surprised and completely confused. So they hired a retired college English professor to name the new bolts that were used. A slow dance with trouble, appointment with pain, and a dunk in the devil's teacup. King Tut's crunch and the rubber wrist twist were all names the professor thought of. And then he came up with a slow poke that's a wind up and slow motion slap. And the porcupine hug and the polar bear rub. And the snap, crackle, pop, crackle, snap. The lift, pull, hip, throw. Tongue twister, the chin pinch and high diving splat, the hair pulling, eye poking, nose tweak, and something called shaving the cat. After naming new holes all day long every day, he got kind of carried away and started to talk the same way at home. Every time he had something to say But darling, please pass me the tiny white balls From the tabletop tumbler ball But all that he really meant by that Was honey, please pass me the salt Thank you. 
painted in an envelope and hunted for a stamp. His roommate had a scrapbook full just sitting on a shelf. He didn't think his pal would mind, so he just helped himself. in art was renewed he found he had extra time on his hands and he kind of missed working with food so he made a tiny Mount Rushmore constructed completely out of cheese then he added a cute little forest scene made out of noodles and peas Next came a little log cabin He built using sausage link logs 
But sadly, the whole thing was swallowed by a couple of art-loving dogs. Cuckoo clock.
sword-swallowing circus-strong man and his snake-charming tattooed wife decided that they would become regular parents and just lead a regular life. Now they're just a regular family having regular family fun with their fire-eating fan-dancing daughter and their dog-faced contortionist son. They lead a regular life. Things got a little out of hand In their high school metal shop They constructed a bicycle belt for two Then decided that they wouldn't stop They welded together a number of bikes So everyone had his own seat After months of planning and welding and building The project was finally complete it had dozens and dozens of pedals and plenty of headlights and bells. The frame and all the fenders were painted in pretty pastels. But it can't be removed from the classroom. The doorway is not very wide. And instead of the bikes lining up in a row, they connected them all side by side. The blue across the table bounced and scattered everywhere. One landed in my cup of juice, one landed on my chair. One landed in my ice cream bowl, and yet it wasn't wasted. It made a base of Alaska better than it ever tasted.
It used to seem so wonderful To sit out in the breeze Until the town was overrun By angry killer bees On the edge of town Hanging upside down from each limb of every tree Sway giant dangerous vampire bats With their bellies full of bees But now they've got to find a way To rid the town of bats So they're thinking of importing Hungry rabbit mountain cats
which paid off for him big. The day he pulled a perfect game. I didn't actually watch that day, but trusting him is not hard, cause he's an honest little monkey, and he showed me his scorecard.
Cheers. Cheers.